I'm inspired by many things. The life I've lived is a far cry from the life I intended. From wanting to be a policeman to now I can't respect them. But childhood lessons from the playground stay present. Cops and robbers is the first game I can remember. I would chase dudes like, I'm gonna get you sucker. Catch up and pretend we're in a ruckus but it was never anything serious. Why hold grudges? We're both misfits and my real interest was looking at the girls doing handstands. Their skirts would fall down and you can totally see their underpants. Do you remember that? Do you remember VHS and cassette decks waiting ages for the radio to play your favourite track? Fingers at the ready to hit record so you can copy it. Then the DJ would talk all over it. <sighs> the story of my life. Obsessed with violence since age 9, staying up late night to watch dudes stab and shoot guys. At first I was mortified, then I was mesmerised, playing games to be satisfied. Criminal intent starts to cloud my mind, I used to fantasise all day about ending lives. I watched Karate Kid in 85, the next day in school I got into my first fight. He pushed me as he passed by, I grabbed him from behind, tripped him so he landed on his spine. I looked him in the eye, straight face, bitch, are you ready to die cause I'm about to oblige. That was my childhood. Some bad but it was all good. Stayed clear of the dealers in my hood, made fun of the gay kids in my school. At the back of the class, staring at the teacher's ass, watching it twitching, moving all around to pretend I'm not looking, sent out anyway for being disruptive. I was kind of a bad kid. Getting into fights or in the arcades bunking, Street Fighter 2 was a game I was playing, down call a circle punch, Hadouken! Now I've got a new interest, I'm obsessed, games had us divided at recess, Mario and Sonic were displayed in 8-bit, Mega Drive came and decided to change it, Nintendo responded, Super NES with shoulder buttons to unlock the turbo option, down right up left YBXA. Now I moved to some other things, ran about 15 girls I was noticing, voice breaks, hair grows, puberty was entering, now I've got to deal with random erections. Inception. It's interesting how a movie can change the meaning of a word, unintentional I'm sure, though this sort of thing has happened before. Perfect! By definition it means that which cannot be improved, but ever since Street Fighter 2 it meant I just kicked the shit out of you. If you're a child, go tell your parents you bunked off school if you're an adult. I'll tell your kids and they will no longer respect you. I'm not really a competitive individual, but these are the traits I've been left with since my days in school. Back then, it was Sega vs Nintendo, Sonic and Mario would battle for the attention of young souls and the wallets of parents, except those of us who couldn't afford it. I didn't get pocket money, so the cash I was given to buy food with I put aside and didn't eat for 12 weeks. Also I can buy a master system because it had Alex Kid built into it, oh how I loved it. Plays day and nights non-stop until I clocked it, then kept going until I mastered it. They said it was the impressionable mind of an 11 year old kid, many years later I have no intention of stopping it. Long since added movies to the list of obsessions from Akira Kurosawa to James Cameron. I've seen as many romantic comedies as I have martial arts action, it was hard boiled that first got me to see things different. The camera angles and choreography led to beautiful violence, heroic gunplay, guns, blades, bullet spray and the blood splatters in ways that I had not previously seen but for me it was a scene at the end of ran when the dude chops a lady's head off the way the blood hits the wall it was impeccable now for what it's worth these days some call me a poet some call me a social advocate to others i'm the arsehole they can't get rid of i'm all those things and then some i'm every move i've ever watched i'm every game i've ever played every girl that's turned me down for a day it's every mistake i've ever made and every triumph that has come my way it's no wonder my writing is so sporadic why it feels like i'm from another planet why in a group i'm usually the quietest why all my experiences never existed or at least not in the way others would envision this but these were always real to me.